Hi everyone, Pilot here. I uh, just wanted to talk about a new plugin I made for NutScript uh, 1.1 uh, beta, although it can pretty much work on any version of NutScript and can even be ported to Helix if you just change a few things. Um, but essentially, this is something that a lot of people have been asking for me uh, for a while, um, a character creation system. Now, to my knowledge, that there's only like a few ones out there. Actually, I don't know of anyone that's publicly available, but um, I, I do know that a lot of people have used Pack to get around this, and a couple people asked me for this other character creation system I used to have for, uh, for an old Fallout game mode. Um, unfortunately, that character creation system is, um, is heavily reliant on the content pack that it was made for six years ago, so you can see that the problems that will come from that. So anyways, I'm just going to go through you know, how to use it and what are the advantages of using this plugin and we'll go from there. So first, to uh, create a type of body part, you'll just create this uh, body part file in, a, in the library uh, and uh, you, know, you name it, whatever you name it. This is like for bodies, like I assume like torsos or whatever. Um, body part default is uh, the default model you want uh, your model to go back to once anyone takes off whatever piece of clothing that they're wearing. Uh, it also sets um, the type of models that you can use for character creation. And body part models, the third uh, variable, uh, is basically all the models you're going to use for this uh, body part. Now that's important because we actually uh, cache every single model that we're going to be using for, for uh, body parts because uh, this is all going to be running on the client and we want um, their bone merges to be cached before they start playing so that when another player is putting on a piece of clothing or whatever or body part or whatever they um, are able to uh, that, that, that they don't lag um, that was a problem on a few other character creation systems in the past um, I think the most, uh, the biggest uh, benefit to using this plugin is the uh, clothing system, and I'll show you an example of that. So this is, uh, you know, how you would make a regular old clothing that you would not script, uh, except that there's a few little changes. You have outfit uh, category, which just defines, you know, if the ca character is able to wear two of the same. Uh, to restrict them from wearing two of the same pieces of clothing. You have outfit model, which is the model that you wanted to change it to. Uh, a boolean value for replacement, which basically means if it's set to true, then it'll, um, it'll replace any of the previous, it'll replace anything that's under the, the uh, body part. So if you send it, setting it to false, I would assume is for things like Kevlar vests, where you maybe wanted to go over someone's uh, model and um, setting it to true would be something like more along the lines of like a full body suit. Um, you can set the body group, if the body part has body groups you can set it there, you can add more. Um, you can set the skin if it has different types of skins. And exclude um, is uh, what you're actually trying to uh, replace. Now if uh, you don't ha exclude is an optional variable so if you don't include it then it'll just replace the entire model. Um, if you add a plus as the first item of the table, then it'll basically say we only want this bone, um, and it'll make the rest. It'll just delete the rest. Alternatively, that's good for helmets. Alternatively, if you want just like uh, if you want the whole model minus just like the helmet, then you don't have to add the plus. You just say the the bones that you want to exclude. So let's check this out in Gary's mod. Here you have regular character and he's gonna put on body and look how cool he is. He has armor, you know he's able to talk to people and emote with his face. And then he gets serious, you know, puts on the helmet. And then you have your full combine uh, CP right model. And if you're feel, feeling a little frisky, you can take off his armor and just keep the helmet. Um, and just to show you the character creation. 
don't worry about this model. Just don't don't worry about it. Hey, I see you worrying. Don't worry about it. Here you can see um, all the options you define in um, that library will come here, will show up here. If you had a head or another type of uh, uh, piece of customization, you can just, it'll just like be listed down. You can see, I, I set, the mo set the default for this uh, police outfit. Um, so that's that. Uh, the only thing you can't do with character creation is change the body parts, body group, and skin. Um, but that's not too difficult to add if you're trying to, if you really want that level of customization. Uh, it's all about really just setting it with the derma, like the, the skeleton's already made for it. It's all just about setting the, the step to, to have that sort of functionality. Um, I know I make uh, all my plugins free. Uh, but this one I'm actually going to be uh, selling for a while, uh, for a long while. Um, so if you want this system, uh, feel free to DM me on Discord or Steam or whatever. Uh, and we can talk about it. So that's that. Thanks for listening to me. And I hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good day.